गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते आई होप एवरी वन डूइंग वेल ओके हेयर आई एम टुडे अगेन वंस अगेन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो स्टार्ट वी जस्ट कंप्लीटेड अनदर यूनिट अंडर इकोलॉजी एंड चेंज यस सो टुडे वी आर प्लानिंग आई एम प्लानिंग टू मूव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट एंड आवर टॉपिक इज दिस फुल फेदम फाइव दाई फादर लाइज it's from uh, william shakespeare so before i get into the poem uh, let me just talk something about uh, william shakespeare uh, since i hope you are very much familiar i don't know whether you know or not you must have studied in uh, maybe a school level or maybe in your nepali subject or whatever you must have heard so william shakespeare is a very uh, popular popular dramatist a dramatist you know drama drama natak yes so drama yes so that you, you you must have studied malini in class 11 yes yeah, so malini is not a drama but malini is like uh, drama yes yeah, so that type malini type so he has written malini type of so many plays you know so many dramas so in that sense uh, he is popular for that and here uh, this a uh, full fathom five thy father lies you have to connect with ecology and change ecology you know ecology means environment okay environment so how this how this uh, this is the poem this is the poem so how this uh, full fathom five thy father lies is connected with ecology with environment you have to connect in that way and of course change a change means ecological change how we find change in the environment the things that change that comes in everyone's life through environment this is what we find here okay now uh, say suppose we can see here this full fathom five uh thy father lies is from william shakespeare no doubt as i said now so you can see here uh, this poem uh, this poem is uh, taken from his drama you know drama is i said drama play play means like if you remember for you it is easy to remember malini time okay you remember malini so what happens there that time that is drama so it's a play we say play here in place of play you can say drama also so you can say this full fed of five thy father lies is a poem and this is taken from the william shakespeare's drama and the name of the drama is the tempest tempest I don't know whether you have heard or not. Tempest means you know storm, hurry, but as Ali Bey, you know this is what is tempest. So storm is what we say strong and in drama there are many acts. Again, let me just remind you uh, while reading Malini in first first year that there are two acts. Act one, act two. Okay. Uh, in act one, what happens? Uh, Kemalkar goes abroad to bring uh, foreign soldiers. In Act Two, what we find Malini and Supriya are in the garden. Just to remind you only, like this here is Act One and Scene Two. Okay, Scene Two means here. Say for example, like in the Malini, uh, Supriya and Malini in the garden. They talk about uh, books. They talk about arguments, and they talk about the friendship. Kamankar's friendship with Supriya. Suppose, supposing that is what is one scene, or say in a movie. In a movie, there is one song sequence. And suppose in Bollywood, Hindi movie, but you see item song is there. So this item song, suppose for example, there is one kind of scene. So like that, you can say that. So this is full fathom five. Thy father lies is a scene. In one thing, one scene where we find there is scene two. Okay, now. So now this is here. Full fathom five. Thy father lies is a poem, but here. what you have to understand is in the in the drama the tempest it is a song it is a song how it is a song let me just tell you something about the drama tempest okay now the tempest in the tempest is a drama in this drama in this drama just to remind you one it is there is no connection with this full fathom five thy father lies but if i tell you about the drama it will be clear to you okay how this happens to be a song as i say song because poem is also a song but then how it is how this poem happens to be a song or how this song happens to be a poem so let's go to the uh, tempest little bit little bit i'll talk about uh, the drama so here the tempest is a drama 
not a play and in this drama there are few people like say prospero okay so prospero is a king prospero is a king he is a king he is a king king we all know so prospero is a king and he has a daughter okay he has a daughter miranda and prospero has his brother antonio antonio okay now what happens here king <coughs> sorry king prospero has one very um, bad habit bad habit means here his weakness okay he is a good king he is a good king he knows his subjects he deals with his subject very carefully very nicely but he has one weakness the weakness is he practices he likes to have information knowledge in magic yes magic you heard it right magic magic again you know there are two types of magic one is white magic white magic means the magic that you see on television sorry suppose out of hanky a flower is created or say suppose or out of some bottles you know chicks or eggs are created out of hat this is what is white magic what we see on television but and of course black magic you know black magic means jadukona okay jadukona like to call the evil spirits evil spirits atma bhutpret bolami that is black magic but remember here he practices white magic that means magic for the good reason so he was so much busy in uh, practicing or learning this magic lesson in white magic he almost forgets about his kingdom then his brother has been watching this then his brother thought to just take the power to take the power from his brother prospero so one day with his friends with his friends antonio he captures okay, he captures antonio and his friends captures prospero and his daughter miranda they captures they tie him and they throw him in the water to die but we know what happens in the movies hero heroine or they hardly die so exactly same thing happens here they do not die prospero and miranda when they walk up or you can say that when they come to the consciousness they find themselves in an island in an island okay in an island tabu so where no one lives no one is there they find themselves there then as a king as a king out of his white magic he creates a spirit a spirit or atma spirit named ariel ariel means of the air something in the air kunai pani pura hawa ma huncha bhane hawa hai this is air so spirit ariel so ariel here other cannot see no one can see only prospero can see the ariel that's why spirit means this okay only ariel can see so you can say that he prospero creates out of his white magic Ariel, Ariel as messenger, messenger. Therefore, he sends his messenger Ariel to patrol the island. That means to move about the island and come and inform him. Therefore, he just bunbunamu buzzing. Bawara bunbunai zai. He just buzzes around the island, comes and reports. Oh, sir. there are no people there are no people in this island only we are the survivors only we are the survivors when he gets this report prospero thinks of ruling the island why because as a king you know he was he is habituated to rule the subject rule the kingdom so he thinks of he thinks of ruling the island then he started ruling the island when prospero started and when miranda was captured she was 3 years old only but when she is in the island when we read the tempest in the drama when we read drama now at present if you go and read drama anywhere if you watch movie or this movie also if you watch this you will find that prospero miranda is a grown up girl of 20 20 years old okay and it is the story is told in the past you will find this story is told in the past so now 
everything is ready for ruling therefore he can use his white magic so he has started thinking of how to rule that in the island in the island there was there is one savage savage means jungly wild and that is caliban caliban means he, his feet his feet are like duck d u c k duck has just the kurta boy go we say wet feet wet feet caliban and he is always thinking okay he is always thinking to rule the island he always he is always thinking to rule the island so therefore um, prospero comes and you know captures him makes caliban his servant therefore caliban gets very angry even one time caliban tries to molest okay physically you know physically tries to do something wrong with the mirinda but uh, he he is not successful so this this what happens okay then as the time passes as the time progresses one day one day prospero king prospero sends ariel you know ariel something in the air yes messenger messenger he says okay ariel you just go and find out what's going on in the uh, island then ariel just moves about then he sees one ship one ship jahaz pani jahaz he sees one ship and he enters the ship yes of course ariel because it's not visible bulbunani matre buzzing only like bee bhavana karai jaste gardai he just enters the ship and he sees there the brother of prospero antonio and ferdinand okay ferdinand they were going they they, they are going to the attend the marriage ceremony they were going to attend the marriage ceremony he just gets the information he comes back he comes back and reports the reports this to prospero then prospero thinks this is the right time right time to take revenge then at the time out of his magic white magic he tells ariel okay ariel you go and create the tempest tempest bhane ko ani bhai huri batas yeah that means here we can say that prospero lo ke bhane bhanda kari he sends ariel okay to artificial tempest ani bhai to create artificial tempest so that boat would you know tilt boat would say tilt and it would be drowned therefore ke bhaye ta then nokali nokali ani he created artificial artificial tempest and boat the ship sorry the ship is drowned the ship is drowned but remember no one dies right remember to them and all the people are scattered one at the one corner of the island another another corner of the island and inside the ship inside the ship there is a prince named ferdinand so ferdinand prince of naples Prince of Naples, we are not Nepal, okay? You may be confused here. Nepal. Sometimes you say Nepal. English people they say in the news Nepal. This is actually Nepal. We should say Nepal. It's Nepal. So the prince is there, and he is very sad. Okay, he is very sad. He thinks that his father is drowned. His father is dead. At that time, when Ariel, Ariel again, Ariel knows everything because it is all artificial. No one is dead. But anyway. Then when he moves about the island, Ariel moves about the island. He sees Ferdinand, the prince. He is very sad. Okay, thinking about his father, he thinks that his father is drowned. His father is drowned. Full fathom five. Thy father. So fathom means measurement of water. Six feet. Six feet. That means one fathom is equal to six feet. So full fathom five. Five means six into five, thirty feet under the your. Thy means your. That means the name. The uh, simple meaning of the poem is your father is drowned thirty feet, or you can say like your father is thirty feet inside the sea, under the sea. This is the meaning. Your father is thirty feet under the sea. This is the meaning. Okay, this is the meaning. So this is the meaning of the poem. Then Ariel knows everything. No one is there. Therefore, therefore Ariel sings this song. So in that sense, now see how the song becomes the poem. This is what is little bit strange. The drama is very long. Okay, 
And this so how it, it happens to be all there. So like it happens to be in this form. Then at that time what happens? He is very sad. Therefore, therefore Ariel wants to console him. Console because Hanumuti. Ariel wants to console Ferdinand, who is very sad, and he sings songs. Okay, Ariel sings songs, but Ferdinand does not understand anything. Why? Because Bhavana Gunmuna is a Gunmuna Asavata Ariel. So he doesn't understand anything. Okay, just singing, but he did not understand. And this is the song. Let's get into the song. So now let's get into the song. So now in the song, he says, Full fathom five, thy father lies. That means your father is 30 feet under the sea. Okay. Of his bones are coral mat. That means here, Ariel says that your father is. 30 feet under the sea, though he is dead, in one sense, according to the supposition of Ferdinand, his father is dead, therefore, he, your father is not dead. Why? Because the bonds of your father, the bonds of your fathers are transformed into precious stones, very precious stones, precious stones. So, precious stones, you can say coral, coral means Nepali, you can say mugu also, it's not very pop, um, pop, popular word. So, coral means Precious stone. For him, it's easy to understand. Precious stone. So his bones, okay, his bones are changed into precious stone. Those are pearls. That were his eyes. And eyes, his eyes, his father's eyes were converted into converted into modi pearls. So that means you can say what uh, Ferdinand, sorry, what Ariel wants to say is not to feel sad. Why? Because your father. His father has become so precious. Why? Because his bones are turned into uh, coral, precious stones. His eyes are turned into, again, of course, precious stones. Pearls, moti that we wear to decorate ourselves to look beautiful. That means he has become so beautiful. Even after death also, he has become beautiful. Nothing of him that the fed. Fed means... You know, to de uh, decay, decay means kunu, sorry, God. So, nothing of his, because we all know when we die, what happens to our body? Our body decays, sorts of girls are gonouns, I guess. But here, uh, Ariel wants to say that nothing has happened to his body. Why? Because his body has been converted into precious stones. Bones are converted into precious stones. Eyes as well are converted into pearls, what is so. But yes, Ariel says, change comes, change comes, but though suffer, so yes, change comes, why? Because when your body is getting transformed into precious stone, change comes. Now imagine, for example, you are, you are to have a lemon juice, what do you do? You squeeze it, don't you squeeze it? Yes, you squeeze it, what happens? Change comes here, but when you drink it, as lemon juice, you feel so refreshed, so cooling. Exactly in that way, change comes for anyone. But here, Ariel says that change is there. Why? Because your father is 30 feet under the sea means change is there. Because your father's body has to be transformed into precious stones processing. You know, processing is like in computer also you can see. Input, processing, output. Exactly in the same way. So process is there. Change is there. So in that sense, suffer means what? Because your body Body, his father's body has been transformed into precious stones. So in that sense, you can say suffer. Otherwise, suffering is very much positive here. It's not in the negative way. When we say suffering, we are always think in negative way. But it's not like that. Okay. Where the word suffer is used in a very positive sense. Okay. So let me just remind you. Something, see chance, into something rich. Rich means what? Rich means not only just you have enough money, wealth, honey. It's not like rich means great. Here you see pearls, coral, precious stones. And when you get precious stones, how do you feel? If you get moti, pearls, if you get corals, how do you feel? Exactly so. He is into that is it. His body has become so strength. A strength means unknown, mysterious. Yes, change into something different. Different human being. So you can say this something rich and strange. And not only that, not only that, even his death, his death is welcomed by the Jalpari. Jalpari means uh, you can say angels, angels, or you can say sea goddess, sea goddess, goddess, 
goddess of the sea. So she names we say names means job by also. She names hourly ring is name. Name means to ring the bell. Ding dong, ding dong. This is what okay, ding dong is given here. Ding dong. So ding dong. Otherwise, normally we can say ding 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 also here. Yeah. I think you are used to that. Tang tang tang. Okay, but here it isn't the tang tang tang. It's a ding dong. So that means here he is he is he is welcome into the world of sea. Into the world of sea. Into the world goddess. Goddess of the sea, welcome him. So you can see, imagine, you can imagine the positive impact of that. If really Ferdinand thinks his father is dead, Ferdinand has no need to worry. Why? Because his father has become so rich, so precious. Even the sea names welcome, welcome him, welcome him under the sea by ringing the bell, ding dong. Okay. So heart, heart is an old English. Heart means listen. Meaning is listen, listen, listen. That means Ariel says, listen, see, I can listen. I can still listen. The ringing of the bell, ding dong, listen. Now I hear them, ding dong. So still he says, see, listen. That means here, what he actually, so here you can say that Ariel. Ariel wants to say that nothing happens to your father. That means if he really thinks his father is dead, but no need to worry for it. Ferdinand, no need to worry. His father has become so rich, strange. Why? Because the bones of his fathers are changed into coral, pearls are changed into, sorry, uh, his eyes are changed into pearls, and nothing is happening because whatever happens, everything is positive. That means here, his father has positive change. Positive change, something everyone would like to have that. Even I wish I would like to have that. Wouldn't you would like to have that? Because if someone tells you if we die, so we have something like this, I think, of course, we would be we would we would be we would wish we would be wishing. We would wish to have that. So exactly like this. This is what we find uh, uh, about the poem. Now let, let us go to the other level. Uh, this, like as I said, song. I think you are, some of you may play guitar, some of you sing a song, so um, you know better that, okay, you have been doing this. So, this, this poem, why do you say poem? Because it is a song, why is it a song? Because for us it is a poem, otherwise actually it is a song, in the drama it is a song, sung by Ariel, the spirit, therefore song has musical quality, you know that, rhythm, lead, bass, what we say this, yes, you do this, I know. You know better than me, of course, I know. So, rhythm bass. So, here this poem has some musical quality. Now, musical quality in literature, if I talk about literature poem here, we say alliteration. Alliteration means repetition of consonant sound. Full, fa, fa, fathom, five, thy father, like. So, you can say fa, 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 fa. So, this repetition of F sound. You can see this is what is alliteration. Repeat musical quality to just to give up musical quality to the song. Then we can find assonance. Assonance means repetition of vowel sounds of bones, chorale are made. Okay, this is what we find. Okay, this is what is and so you can say I'm just talking about the musical effect. This we find. Next, if you see rhythm, rhyme, rhyme is key. Rhyme is key means lies, eyes, made, fed. Yes, you can see here, nail, bell. Change, strength, this is what it is, rhyme. So, rhyming scheme, do we say rhyming scheme? So, in that sense, we can say this poem is also can be seen from the angle of musical quality. Musical quality here, alliteration, assonance, rhymes, of course. I have almost forgotten anamacha poem. Anamacha poem means, like for example, uh, what does a cop do? Kukrika in Nepali, Kukrika, yes, Kikriki. What is it? That is the very sound. Very sound. Now, when we play with water, what happens? Splashing. Chaplan chukun awa dhamsin Where this is the very sound of the, the very sound of the instrument or very sound of the thing is called onamacha poya. So, onamacha poya is also ding dong, ding dang, tring tring. You can see there. How does the telephone ring? Tring tring. We all know this. So, this tring tring is onamacha poya. So, this is the musical quality of the Poem. So you can say that this is a little bit about uh, because since it is a poem, it can have you know multiple level of meanings also. But for for your, what you have to understand is generally, generally what is this is the uh, meaning of the poem. Okay, let us move on to the next quite repeated question also. Quite repeated question also. Say 
we find here is that meaningful in the poem now you see think what, what we think when 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 if someone says oh i am dying tomorrow if someone tells you okay you are going to die tomorrow you will be dead tomorrow so how do you feel normally what happens when we think of that we are scared we are very much scared i know that everyone is scared but here william shakespeare's message is very clear don't be afraid of that why because through this poem he is telling us take the death as a meaningful subject in a meaningful way why because that is natural if birth is natural death is natural but if i ask me if you ask me i would say like this death is birth is accident death is also accident so it's quite natural because human being they work they come to this world they grow they die exactly like plant also you see a plant a flower you see what they do? they grow then they you know bloom then decay so exactly so this is human being so we are the part of nature so we have to die one day so here you can say that at least at least his message to us is don't be scared of that they have positive implications so you can say death is taken in a positive way you can see here how death is taken and because when we die we don't exactly take it i'm punam shortenam goldenam why because we transform into something rich strange amulya chiz banchalam precious stones so in that sense you can say yes death is meaningful in the poem we should not be afraid of death because death comes to all it is quite natural we cannot stop ourselves we cannot run away from them so have positive because whenever we read this we always have positive feelings towards death so in their sense you can say this in here positive implication yes death has absolute meaning so i hope uh, this is a bit from me so if anything remains we will see in the next class thank you so much namaste